Hey everyone, welcome into the At Flippin' Hippo's YouTube channel. I'm Star the Flippin' Hippo. Today we're gonna take a look at some of the jeans that sold for us in the month of August on our eBay platform. These are not all of the jeans that sold or else we'd be here all day, but I did pick out some of the highlights from the month to give you guys a really good idea of the bread and butter brands that we sell, what we sell them for, and then of course the bolo jeans to keep your eyes out for that are gonna sell for more money. If you missed it, a couple weeks ago I put out a series of two videos on brands that you should be looking to source to sell on eBay and Poshmark. I'll have both of those videos pop up at the end for you. If you haven't watched them already, you can look at them when you have a little bit of extra time and add to your list of brands that you can be looking for. We're gonna start with Tommy Hilfiger, which is really not that great of a brand anymore, and typically it's one I'll leave behind. But these were capris and they were very lightweight, so they were gonna ship first class and they were plus size. So they did sell within two days of being listed. They are a plus size 20 and they did ship first class and they sold for $18.74. So uh, that goes along with how I'm always teaching you guys that sometimes if something is plus size or a larger size, it's okay to get a not so great brand. You'll still make out really well because you can charge more for these larger sizes. Next up, we have these LTB 1948 Little Big Men's Jeans. And I um, discovered these at a Goodwill, decided to bring them home and risk it. I like the way they look and I wanted to learn about a new brand. And they did sell for $27.49. And they did ship in a padded flat. These uh, are Hot Kiss, not a great brand, but they were so cute, I couldn't leave them on the rack. They were only 99 cents. Um, and that just goes to show that sometimes, again, with the style or the way jeans look, I'll grab them even when the brand isn't that great if the cost of goods is low enough. These were super bell-bottom flare and really cute. And they did sell within a week of being listed for $19.99, and they shipped in a pad of flat. Next up, we have a brand that didn't even, or sorry, a pair of jeans that didn't even have a brand. Um, I guess that's the brand on the button there, but I couldn't read it. So I knew they were size 20, a plus size. They do really well. They were skinny jeans. Skinny jeans, especially cute skinny jeans like this, are really hard to find in the plus sizes. So they, they are going to do well on eBay, even if they are generic and don't have a brand. So I went ahead and listed them at $21.99 and that's what they sold for. So even without a brand, just the fact that they're plus size and they're skinny, um, they're a style that women who wear plus sizes have a hard time finding. Sold for $21.99 and shipped in a padded flat. American Eagle, these are men's. American Eagle is one of my favorite bread and butters. You guys probably know that by now. And with men's jeans, you can always charge a couple dollars more than you can with women's. I typically start my women's around 21 and then men's around 24. This pair sold for $23.43 and shipped in a pad of flat. Then we have these Ralph Lauren's I picked up because they were unique. First of all, they're size 14. Size 14 and up are what I consider the good sizes or the plus sizes. Um, on Poshmark, Technically, 14 and up is considered plus, not so much on eBay, but I just keep that in my head when I'm sourcing 14 and up. These were also flared, wide leg, tan, they had floral print, so they were super unique. Ralph Lauren's not that great of a brand, but it's a good size, and the jeans themselves are unique enough. They sold for $21.18 and shipped in a padded flat. Then we have some Levi's at $5.25. You guys that have been watching the channel for a little while probably know I've been getting back into the Levi's. I didn't source them for a long time because they just didn't sell for me, but they are now. So for whatever reason, they're popular again. So I have been sourcing them. This pair sold for $20.99 and shipped in a padded flat. Most of the jeans that you guys are seeing were 99 cents off the rack at Goodwill. Some of them came from thread out boxes or wholesale lots. Here's a pair of Joe's jeans. This is a good brand to keep your guys' eyes out for. Your guys' eyes. 
These are the Honey Booty Fit Curvy Bootcut Jeans. Joe's jeans always have names. They'll be on the tag. You can see it. Or on the jeans printed there. These these ones I took a best offer of 25 and they shipped first. They're sorry, in a pad of flat. Lucky Brand, just saw some women's Sophia boot mid-rise Lucky Brand jeans. Lucky Brand's more of a bread and butter brand these days. This pair sold for $23.43, shipped in a pad of flat. And then I sold this pair of Lucky Brand jeans. These were size zero, and I do well with small sizes as well as plus. These are the Zoe Straight jeans. This pair I took a best offer of 20 on, and they shipped in a pad of flat as well. Here we have some VIP jeans, uh, distressed and ripped. Not something I normally would source, but they did come to me in a thread up box. So I decided to list them with good keywords like distressed and ripped. They're pink, they're a little different. They sold for $20.75. And I believe these ones shipped in first class. Yes, they did. Next up, we have some rock and roll cowgirl jeans. Now this is a new to me brand. I discovered in a wholesale lot that we purchased. So now I keep my eyes out for there's rock and roll cowboy and rock and roll cowgirl. Definitely a brand I will be looking for from now on. These sold on a best offer of $35 and shipped in a padded flat. Talbot's is a pretty decent bread and butter brand still. These ones were black, a little bit different because they're black, not your regular one of the milk blue jeans. They're the Flawless Five Pocket, which is one of the styles Talbot's is known for. These sold for $19.94 and shipped in a padded flat. Gap Men's Jeans, again Gap um, is one of my favorite bread and butter brands. In addition to these being men's, you can charge a little bit more. Women's Gap, I usually start around 20, 21. Size 30 for men is kind of small. Had these been size 32 or a little bit um, bigger, maybe 34, I would have gone more towards $24 on these. I priced them a little bit lower because 30 is kind of, it's not, uh, it's not really that small, but it's not a size that a lot of men are looking for. But they did sell for $22.79 and they shipped in a pad of flat. Next up we have some Charter Club. Um, again, this pair, this is a kind of a bad brand that I normally would tell people to stay away from, but these were new with tags and super unique. So if you guys find new with tag stuff for a couple bucks or less, and it's this unique, go ahead and grab it. These sold for a best offer of 20 and they shipped first class. Next up, we have True Religion. Everybody's familiar with the True Religion brand. I find that the really super wide bell bottom flare do really well for me. Um, throwback to the 70s, I guess. These also had raw hems, but they were super wide leg. They um, leg opening of 23 inches, and they were low rise. Uh, low rise paired with bell bottom flare really does well for me. They usually go pretty fast. These ones I accepted a best offer of 40 on and they shipped in a pad of flat. And then we have some MEC or MEK by Buckle for women. The MEC jeans do a little bit better than the regular Buckle these days or the BKE. Uh, this pair was only 99 cents and they were black a little bit different. So I decided to try them. And I took a best offer on them of $21.30. And they shipped in a padded flat. And then last but not least, in the month of August, our last pair of our vintage Jenko men's skater jeans went. Longtime viewers probably remember we had three pairs of these skater jeans at one point. They came in a wholesale lot. The average cost per piece in that lot was $2. So we had three pairs of these, $2 a piece. And each one sold for $89.99 on a best offer. This pair took a little bit longer. I've talked about them before, but they had some damage and some stains. I fully expected these to actually go for more like $75 or $80 on an offer because of the damage on the hems and the stain. Um, being that the other two pairs were in better condition and sold for $89.99. But 
uh, they offered 70 I went back with 89.99 and they sold so very very excited that all three pairs sold for $90 I have never found Janko in the wild ever I'm fully aware of what they are I grew up in the 80s and 90s um, so I mean it's I've just never seen them in the wild uh, I know there's something to look for and then here they kind of three pair come in one box to me which was super cool but you guys if you ever see the Janko jeans grab them up they sell for a lot of money um, like I would probably even pay 10 to 15 for these in the wild if I found them because um, you know you can get like $80 for them I would start them at 100 like I tell you guys all the time start your stuff higher than you want so you have room for offers all right, let me know down in the comments what you think or if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about jeans or brands of jeans. Again, I'll have those videos pop up for you at the end. You can go watch those and learn um, some more brands. And uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up before you leave. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Help us feed a hungry hippo. Don't forget to join our Facebook group, Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. Free to join, link is down below. Until next time, go be productive. Go make some money. And thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.